course in the crush that are about uh, four weeks off cabin, four or five weeks. Uh, and I'm just going to ask Kieran a few questions about, I suppose, body condition scoring these cows as to what are the areas we look at um, in terms of managing body condition and assessing body condition on a suckler cow. So, Kieran, just bring us through there the points we said that you look at in terms of assessing the body condition score of a suckler cow. Okay, Alan, well, first thing we have to ask is why do we body condition score a cow? And I suppose when you body condition, we're trying to make a, a guess of the body fat percentage on her by looking at what fat she has under the skin at three places. And her body fat percentage will affect the hormones that are pulsing around through her veins. And crucially, these hormones affect things like fertility. So her primal instincts for kind of when her reproductive system starts are based on, I suppose, her fat reserves in her body, so her energy reserves. So if you can imagine a wild animal, if, if she's too thin, she might think, now is not a good time for me to get pregnant. So her reproductive system kind of goes into standby mode. And that's crucial that we have our cows in the correct condition so that that does not happen. So look at three points on the cow. We look at the ribs here, her long ribs, we look at her loin, and we look at her tail head, all right? And basically what we're doing is we're giving a score of one to five, five being obese, one obviously being very emaciated, and we get an average of the three points. So we want a spring calf and suckler cow calving down at a body condition score of around 2.5. So she'll have come in in the winter uh, at about a three, 3.25, and lost a bit of condition over the winter. This is where farmers can save on feed costs. Losing condition is fine once it's not excessive. So the tail head is obviously one of the spots we look at. At a condition score of a two, there'll be an obvious crevice between the tail head and the rump. Um, the tissue will be quite tight, not so tight that you can't pull it up either side of the tail head. So I put this one at about a two, 2.75 maybe, so there's a good bit of fat there you can pull up. There's a small, very slight crevice, and a tree that crevice will be completely gone, so She's 2.75 at the tail. So we'll look at the ribs as well when we're condition scoring. Uh, at a score of two, ribs would be quite obvious. Now she's a bit dirty, you can't see them, but at condition score of a two, you'll probably be able to see the back few ribs. At a, at a two and a half, you might be able to see the back one or two. I can see none here. Um, to feel the ribs at a three, you want a, a good bit of pressure. Now I need to put a bit of pressure on there to feel those ribs, so she's probably a three at the ribs. Right, the last spot is the loin. So it's here just in front of the hips. Um, at a condition score of a two, the short ribs coming out from the spine will feel rounded at the top. So these are, so her, if you can imagine her long ribs are here coming out from the spine and her short ribs just come out like that either side of the spine. Well, I can feel these here relatively easily. At a three, you need to put a bit of pressure on to feel the individual ones. I can feel these just by running my hand across. They are, they are quite rounded as well. I'd put her maybe at a 2.75 at the line. At a 3 as well, there will still be a slight depression here. So if you get as far as a 4, it'll be completely rounded here. But I don't know if you can see with the bar there, there's a slight depression on her line as well. So 2.75 there. So we have a thinner lady here. So if you look here at the tail head, there's a like, more obvious crevice than on our last cow. Um, at the tail head... An indicator if you have a tree or not is whether you need firm pressure to feel the pelvis bone. I can feel that quite easily there. It's very obvious. And as you can see also, there's a good little crevice between the rump and the tail head. So she's two and a half, just about two and a half there. So ribs, as you said, ribs are quite obvious at a two, especially the back few. At a tree, there's a good covering on them. I'd say she's in between. She's maybe a 2.75 at the ribs. So the line next. As I said, at a three you need firm pressure to feel your, her short ribs. At a two they're quite obvious. It's kind of in between there, so I can feel them running across, I can feel bumps. They're not very obvious, so she's two and a half there as well. 